Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Love, and I kind of just do, well, based off of what y'all have told me, y'all prefer my cleaning vlogs and my DoorDash vlogs. So it looks like I'll be doing those for a little while, kind of like just what I do around the house and things like that. But sometimes I may just take y'all along with me because I enjoy talking to y'all. Right now, I know you can barely see what, what I'm doing, but I'm cleaning off my ceiling fan because yikes then we'll go ahead and clean off my french doors or my sliding door i don't know why i call them french doors they are not french doors they are sliding doors so i'm gonna go ahead and clean off my sliding doors and because i'm doing such a like a thorough clean on top of like things like around handles and doorknobs and stuff like that because the flu took over my house and i needed to sanitize the ever living you know what out of this house and when i mean the flu took over my house three out of the four of us got it and it was a nightmare my kids got the worst of it and i don't want them to feel like that for a very 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 long time if ever so now we are just kind of hanging out and now we are just vacuuming up the couches i am very weird in particular particular about how i like to clean in here um i have animals so they lay on the couch so I like to make sure it smells fresh and clean and get everything completely vacuumed off so that we can get rid of cat hairs or any kind of little crumbs that maybe the kids have brought in or what have you. So after I do that, my favorite thing to do is to vacuum my living room. I know this sounds really weird that I actually enjoy vacuuming my living room, but I love vacuum lines. I'm so weird. I know there's some people out there. Come on, you gotta tell me that y'all enjoy vacuum lines as well as just something about it just makes everything just seem so relaxing to see vacuum lines so okay enough about vacuum lines after I'm done vacuuming we're gonna move on over to the office so here I am at my uh, stream desk I would decide I was like okay I really need to dust this there's there's dust on it I don't like it I don't like the feeling like I'm touching dirt well, my ADHD had a different thing and decided, you know what, Kayla, you need to just go ahead and reorganize and make yourself have more room. And that is what I ended up doing. And then I ended up getting completely, guys, I'm so ADHD. I ended up getting completely sidetracked, rewiring everything, and then turned around and started working on software. Luckily, y'all don't have to watch all of this because I, my camera did end up automatically turning off. So, it literally just cut out about 40 minutes of crap that I was doing. So, we're just going to finish dusting everything off, and here I am working on the little things that I was going to work on. I was like, it's so ridiculous. I swear. I don't know why I'm like this, but I am. I'm trying my best to organize everything here, and mm-mm, mm-mm. Alright, so now that I'm done with all that, you're going to see me like completely dust off my, what I like to call my work station for my other YouTube channel. If you don't know, I have another YouTube channel that's called Budget with Love and I teach financing and how to manage your income so that even if you have a low income kind of thing, you are able to be able to, oh my gosh, I got you, so that you're able to save up money and plan for the future. Now that I got all of that cleaned up, I know that this over here in this corner is where I want my stream tree to go up in. So I'm trying to reorganize this little corner so that I have plenty of space for my tree. And I'm just trying to make sure I clean up the floor because girl, mm, these floor. So I'm kind of like debating on how I want it to look. And I was like, okay, I just need to finish cleaning up this floor and rearranging the small little things. There's my Christmas tree and I'm putting away my bill binder, which you might know about bill binders if you watch my other video. Putting all of the stuff back together for my shoe holder. Sweeping off a little bit of the stairs and making sure I get all of this cleaned up. I am very OCD. I do not like anything from the outdoors. 
on my floor at any moment of the day. It drives me insane and I feel like it gets caught on your feet and I just hate the feeling of it, especially if you walk around barefooted, which I normally do in my home. Uh, but when I'm cleaning, I don't walk around barefooted just because I feel like it doesn't stick to my feet as much. So once again, it is the most problematic room in my house, which is our dining room. We eat here every single day and my lovely, lovely five-year-old seems to not be able to, you know, make anything in his mouth and it all ends up on my floor, but we're, we're working with it. And I got this little salt and pepper shaker that I have never filled up because I keep forgetting to order like salt and pepper, but I realized I had some salt in there from when I had a tooth infection. So we just filled her up. And I'm also very much obsessed with just lighting candles while I'm cleaning because it just makes me feel like the room is like 10 times cleaner as I'm trying to clean it. So just trying to get up all of these little crumbs, make sure none of the cat food is anywhere because my dogs like to get caught and then have half of it fall out of their mouth. So just making sure we get all the little crumbs off of everybody's chair and this floor. Then we move on over to the dishes and these dishes are clean so we're going to go ahead and unload the dishwasher and we are going to fill it with the trust the with the uh with all the mess that you see around my sink um i do try my best to keep my sink as clear out as possible and if you're wondering what also is going on in this footage i was cooking dinner so i kept having to go over to the stove and stir my noodles we were making spaghetti with garlic bread so I had to make sure everything was completely cooking all the way through so So this is actually a couple of days later because I did not finish this video and I thought I did but I did not. I actually went to bed. So I'm just going to wipe off all of my counters and make sure I clean my stove. And if you watch any of my other cleaning videos you know that I'm extremely OCD about my stove. So we're doing a nicely good scrub-a-dub-dub -dub on here and yeah, just I feel so much better after this has this type of cleaning. It's better than just a wipe down and it just makes the kitchen just seems so much cleaner and nice and it just gives it the whole like new look kind of vibe. I know I'm weird right now. The way I'm describing this, but this is honestly how I feel. So after I do that I go ahead and I sweep my kitchen. The rest of the house has already been swept. And my dogs are like having this winter coat shedding problem right now. I don't know why they shed their coat going into winter, but my dogs do. And if y'all ever wonder why my dogs are always in crates, it's because I won't get anything done if they are out. So they go in crates while I'm cleaning, and yes. After we get all of that up, it feels so much better. And I know that the kitchen and everything else is done. Done! Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.